Hi, in this video, we are going to look at how to use the metadata editor to create your own custom metadata fields. Zoom supports a variety of uh, field types, and we'll cover all of them in this video. The specific topics that will be explained, including how to launch the editor, how to create new metadata fields, and then for a given metadata fields, what are the different attributes that Evolve in Zoom supports and how do they impact your schema. Now, in order to add custom metadata fields to basically line up with my uh, metadata taxonomy that I have in mind, I can use the add option to add new fields. So I have to select the metadata group, then I click on add, and that would allow me to uh, specify the details for adding a new field. So you can start with specifying a name. Now the name of the field cannot contain any spaces. So for example, if I wanted to create a field called status, I'll type in, um, let's say, I want to call it uh, status info. So um, as soon as I hit enter, it changes and now there is no space, so it becomes status info. Namespace, you can leave it as zoom. Namespace is used if you're embedding the metadata inside a file in, in, in XMP blocks. So if you're not looking at exporting metadata out to third-party system, then uh, you don't have to worry about namespace. And then you can assign a label. So label is typically same as the name, but you may want to put a space character to um, format it. Then you're going to come over here and choose um, the key. So um, you can leave the key type as a string. And then as far as the value type is concerned, you have a choice. Um, you can have values that are text. You can have values that are integer. So these will be uh, numbers uh, from uh, zero and, and uh, higher. You can have uh, a Boolean, which is true or false, or you can have date. So these are the four types of field that Evolfin supports out of the box. So once you select a specific value type, then you would come over to type. So this is a very important attribute. This controls if the metadata is um, optional in the ingest form or is it required in the ingest form. If you mark something as mandatory, it would show up as a, a required field in the uh, ingest form. If you don't specify anything, the default is none. In that case, this field is not going to show up in the check-in form or ingest uh, form. So again, type is used to control if it uh, shows up in the uh, uh, in, in the uh, uh, ingest check-in dialog. Now, multi-line, this is if you have multiple lines of text that you want to enter in metadata, you can use multi-line yes or uh, you can turn on multi-line yes. But keep in mind that this is not a license to add a whole um, story of uh, hundreds of uh, pages in, inside uh, a field. So metadata is meant for, for just that, for providing tags and, and um, uh, values upon which you can uh, do searching. Sometimes customers will put like uh, hundreds of lines in, in this multi-line field, and that's not the purpose. If you did that, mm -hmm. then the system has to index all of that and it'll just slow down everything. Okay, um, let's go back here. And then the next one is uh, editable. So um, if you have a drop down list of values, that's when this editable will come in. And uh, we'll come to that uh, in a later video. Now let's talk about some other fields here, projects. So this is used to control in the check-in form, which project walls basically show up in the, um, show up in the uh, uh, check-in form. So you can specify one or more projects. Uh, if uh, that project vault is the one you are ingesting into, then this field will, will pop up in that uh, ingest form for that project vault. Now this applies only to uh, mandatory fields. Um, otherwise, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, if you have mandatory fields, then they must be universal. They should apply to all projects. If it's an uh, uh, optional field, then you can choose, uh, uh, limit the scope to specific project walls. Finally, roles. So if your user that is trying to ingest has a particular role, like they may be a project admin or a super admin or a designer, you can have different fields show up in the form based on the role that this person is playing. 
Default value, you can assign uh, any default value. So for some of our application where required metadata is not present, we can go and look up the default value and apply that automatically. Linked key, linked width, this is an advanced concept for cascading, which we'll discuss uh, later. So restriction is used for specifying any regular expression patterns that is used in the check-in dialog to control the values that can be entered. So let's say there's a value which is a phone number and it needs to follow area code, dash, and, and then the number. You can use the regular expressions here to restrict what is the value that the user is allowed to enter. So this does require knowledge of uh, 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 regular expressions. If you're not familiar with that, then just leave that empty. Auto extract, this is used to control if Evolfin will extract uh, the field that is selected here from within the asset. So this typically applies to standard metadata fields like IPTC fields. Uh, if you're downloading a stock image from let's say Getty, that might have an IPTC title field. And if this auto extract is true, then Evolfin will automatically extract that uh, value from the, the file. If auto extract is off, then uh, Evolfin will always ignore extraction of uh, such uh, standard fields, the IPTC fields specifically. Min value, max value, um, this basically contains uh, uh, restrictions on how many characters can uh, are expected in the uh, metadata uh, value that you're entering. And um, visibility, that basically is uh, another advanced uh, field that controls if uh, this particular field is visible if you're using the Zapier uh, app. Now, in order to add multiple values, if you're using a uh, text type, you can click on add and specify your own value. So let's say this value was uh, with a status. So we wanted to put status like uh, uh, done. You can specify a different key and, val a key and value, but typically they are the same. Uh, done, let's say this was a review. We can add another field here for review. And like that, when you hit submit, it'll basically go and add uh, the, the, the fields. So you will end up with creating several fields. Some of them, like I said, uh, could be dates, some could be um, so, uh, strings, some could be dropdowns with one or more values. And once you have done all of that, you will hit save metadata. That'll save, save the metadata in the system, uh, update the schema, and then you can start using the metadata field. So that's a a broad overview of how you can define custom metadata taxonomy using the metadata schema editor.